Hello and welcome to Dark Skittles for KLWP. Uh, first thing, let's go ahead and talk about this. This is a template. I just got this little Word document here to remind me what to talk to you about, but it is a template. And this is what it's going to look like uh, when you download it. Um, you have name of bar one, name of bar two, and so forth. You can put whatever you want to put in these things. We can put icon fonts over here. And, uh, act, and the other cool thing is this. This is the main thing about Dark Skittles is that we can change the colors. Right now you see a red and a white rotating. If I, I click this change color one, notice it was well, just red, red, but changing it again, we got like a red and orange. There's a red and yellow, red and green, red and blue. And you might say, well, okay, what's well, red and something, red and something. Well, that's where the color two comes in. We can change that red to something else. So notice the red's gone now. Um, now we have like a red and yellow and, or excuse me, a blue and yellow. And now we have like a blue and green. So that's one thing about dark skittles. The other thing is this, inside of, if you touch anywhere on this bar up here, or even over here where we have, where you can put an icon font later, um, if you tap that, you know, you're going to have the information slide out that pertains to bar one. So when you start adding stuff inside of your custom live wallpaper template for dark skittles, uh, make sure you keep the width fixed or within a reasonable range and use padding accordingly. And another cool uh, piece about dark skittles is that inside of here you might see like a yellow and orange hint. We can change the colors inside of here independent of what the colors were back out here at the beginning. Um, notice right now you got, got like a, what a blue or excuse me a purple and yellow hint. Um, we can change the other color, the yellow, so now we have like a purplish green getting rotated. And it turns out each one of these are, are separate. So when I click, uh, we can actually click on these as well. If I click on five, it brings out bar five, bar five stuff. If I click down here on seven, it brings out bar seven and all these other bars too. And now we have bar seven stuff. And each one of these, each one of these little tabs that slide out, we can change these colors independent of the other. Notice I am changing these colors, and it's not changing any of these colors out here. So if I click back on the 8, this is going to take me back to my home screen. So that's what I refer to as independent color wheels. Inside of each little tab that slides out, we can adjust each color, um, each color wheel independently by using these two things. Now obviously once you customize this, like I said, you might want to put some buttons down here or a little, whatever you want to put to change these colors. That's entirely up to you. Now let's go and explore the um, global variables in KLWP that you can edit. So inside of KLWP, going over to Globals, um, the tab 8 refers to having this thing showing. If I go and change the tab to say tab number 5, and I'll leave it on 5 for right now, it's going to show the 5 stuff. So this is a way you can change your tabs and see what you're editing. And um, that's one global variable. Let's talk about a few more things too before I move on. Um, you, this font here, this will change the, all the fonts that you see up here. Um, that's how I have it set up. Of course, you can change that. Notice the bar fonts are getting a little bit bigger as I change the bar font size global variable. We have the padding on our uh, fonts. You know, notice it is sliding out to the uh, left a little bit. You know, maybe you want it uh, centered a little bit more or something like that. So you can adjust that. And if you don't like these colors, um, here's the only thing, you know, it, it says red. Does it have to be red? Absolutely not. It says orange. Does it have to be orange? No. You know, maybe you're thinking, okay, it says yellow. You don't have to make it yellow. Maybe you want it to be like a gray color or something. So if I change it to gray, I mean, anything that was yellow, and I think actually one of these was yellow because see that little gray right there? But, uh, you know, just because it says it's yellow doesn't mean you have to keep it yellow. But this is where you can change your colors on the fly. I wouldn't recommend adding new ones here unless you went in and changed the coding inside of the template. You know, maybe you want this blue to be a little bit darker or you, you don't want it to be blue at all, but nonetheless, you can um, change these. And don't think you have to uh, pick the color that it's named. It will change it on the fly. Um, just the way I had the coding set up here. Uh, okay, you don't like purple, you don't want purple. Maybe you want like a, a whitish gray. Okay, so whenever we had a purple now, uh, it's going to be that light gray color that you see down there. All right. Now, all these other ones that you see beneath this, you don't need to change any of that. That's just to help with the color changing buttons that's built within of each, that's built within each little uh, page that slides out. And that's about it for the global variables. 
Now let's look at adding information on each tab. So since I'm in tab 5, if I go back to items, um, the blackouts, you don't need to change any of those until you get real used to working with dark skittles, then maybe you can add your own twist to it. All right, bar one name, bar two name, bar three name, that's where we can change these names right here. Now I'm gonna go to bar five name just to, since I'm on tab five and I'm looking at bar five here. Uh, the text name of bar five, that is where you can come in here and you can change that. Oops, I need to come down here, don't I? So it's called ABC, whatever. Um, that is going to change right there. Notice that. You, I had this linked to a global font. I have it linked to a size. Of course, you can change all this stuff. And then also back inside of this overlap group that's called bar five name, this is where you can change the icon font. If you have an icon font that you have, suppose you know you wanted this to be phone, you can put a little phone icon font over here. And uh, I have it just 5IF for five icon font. Now let me go ahead and point out something keep paint set to clear all these text items that you see any icon font that you add what you want to make sure is that mode under paint is set to clear and if it's not let me show you what happens if I have it set to normal and um, I'm gonna change my font color let's change it to like a blue Uh, notice, you know, we lose that color changing ability, which there's nothing wrong with that if you if you don't want it for the icon font, totally fine. But if I go back and put this back on clear, it doesn't worry about the font color, and now we can still see that color changing effect. Um, that's the main purpose of dark skittles, in my opinion. But uh, so keep that in mind. If you want the colors to change for any text that you add, you need to set that paint to clear. Other things to point out, let's see, okay, how about adding stuff? How about adding this stuff underneath our bar five? Of course, I don't have it titled bar five, I did change the name of it. But remember, this is bar five tab five stuff. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. Again, don't mess with the blackouts until you get used to it. Um, the bar names is where you can change right there. And then you have this other bit of information down here. We got five block, five color wheel, five stuff. Five stuff is where you change this stuff right here. If you wanted to change the four stuff, you would go back up here to four stuff. So this is where we actually change our information. So let me go into five stuff, um, open that up. Um, the color buttons down here is this little stack group right here. Obviously you can change color one. If we change that, I'm not going to right now, but if we change that text, it will change that. And just remember, if you accidentally delete these, you'll have to, to reconfigure your touch. Um, well, the touch isn't set for that one. It's actually set for each individual word. So if I want to change color one, you know, there is a touch set to that thing. Um, if you haven't, if you accidentally delete it, maybe you want to save a template. That way you can refer back to it and copy these codes over. I can, pr I can provide the codes for you. Um, shoot me an email. There's my email address right there. But you, again, you can change those to whatever you want. And then here's our text that makes up this stuff right here. I was mentioning to you about keeping the width fixed or within a reasonable range and using the padding accordingly. So, you know, I have a fixed width. You can definitely change this. But notice if you start moving around too much, we start losing that uh, the dark piece to our dark skittles. And all we start seeing is a, a, a weird color rotating in the background. So that's what I mean about keeping it uh, fixed or within a reasonable range. And the same thing goes with the padding on this. You know, we can apply some top padding. Notice that, but if I move it down too far, the dark piece to our dark Skittles goes away from us. So be careful with that. Just use it accordingly. Um, other things, if you did, I'll tell you what, this is something else you can mess around with. I'm sure you're gonna mess around with all the little pieces in here, but uh, since we're in bar five, tab five, five is my key thing, that's my reference. Scroll down a little bit, and where are we at? All right. So there's three pieces down here. We got five block. Don't mess with any of the blocks. Color wheel. This is where we can actually edit. I've already showed you how to edit the colors, but maybe we want this thing to spin faster. So I'm on my five color wheel. Go to animation, and where it says loop and rotate, maybe you want this thing to rotate faster. So I'm just going to go adjust my time. 
and um, notice, I don't know if you can see that now, but this thing is rotating much faster than what it was, and I can make it do it even faster by going down to like fractions of a second. Look at that. You can clearly see that, that thing is rotating much faster now. It's all, you can edit all this stuff. So key things, it is a template. It's gonna take some time for you to put your items in there, but uh, the main feature of Dark Skittles is having the color changing feature. Uh, we looked at the global variables. I showed you how to add information to each tab and page. Um, keep your paint set to clear. And then I guess now let me show you um, what a finished piece would look like after you add your own items to it. So here's my current uh, setup using Dark Skittles. I I've come in and renamed all my bars. I have my icon fonts and I have my little buttons down here to change my colors and um, as you can see here everything is changing you know I got like a blue white color going on for my main screen these little buttons down here change my colors so if I click on one uh, there's like a purple and a white there's a white on white um, there's a white and red and then again over here this will change the I guess the white piece because I kept saying something in white something in white well now we got red on red here's a what red on orange, red on yellow, red on green. But remember, I did show you how to change those global variables if you don't like these colors. And then with inside of each tab, you know, RSS feed, I have my RSS stuff. And here's my color changing buttons for strictly this little uh, page that slides out. So clicking on those, there's like a oranges, orangish green, there's an orangish blue. And remember, I showed you all this stuff. Um, music it slides out its little piece I can start playing my music again these are changing colors because all this stuff is set to clear um, here's my little toggles piece I can toggle my Wi-Fi all these things are changing colors because everything is set to clear here's my little notifications of text messages and things like that but everything is changing um, again look down here see these colors are different because every single page that we have inside of dark skittles um, has its independent color wheel so, you know, yeah, you have a little bit of time to invest um, into making this your own because you need to add your own pieces. But I wanted to give you that opportunity to do that. And also I wanted to prevent um, me not giving credit where credit's due to people who did create these icon fonts. Or I, I've actually some of these I've purchased myself. So, you know, I didn't want to share any of that um, because of legal issues. So use what you have, add it in here. Um, Post it on the you know custom community and um, tag me in it. I'd like to see how y'all take this and tweak it. And that's it. I hope you enjoy Dark Skittles.